you are new here, I am Alvin from Uganda, exploring our country's running center, Kapchora, and showing you why you should make an excellent destination for your training. Welcome back. Uh, on this episode, I'll be exploring the other things to do in the Kapchora area. I'll be visiting uh, CP Falls, uh, as well as meeting up with a friend, uh, Moses, who's a coffee farmer here. Uh, to share with you about the coffee that's grown in this area. Uh, check out these views, absolutely amazing. You can see all the way down to the plateau. CP Falls is a set of three waterfalls. It's located 15 kilometers from Kapchora town. I stopped by a Cafe Endiro uh, for some lunch. This is overlooking the valley of the lowest waterfall. So Moses has arrived. We're just starting the falls. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks. So this is uh, the lowest. Wow. This is the lowest fall. We saw someone upsailing down the waterfall, uh, which looked like quite the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome to the first floor of water, City Falls and uh, it is the second highest waterfall among the three falls but it is located within the elevation of 2,000 meters <laughs> This is it guys All of it, this so is it It's so misty It's so misty And so nice Yeah How many meters? How high is the It's 85 meters wow. high. In Gamatui village, okay. uh, in CP sub county, uh, where we have planted a coffee. We started from seed to a seedling, and uh, now they're ready to be transplanted. We usually plant at the height of uh, this, this much. This is the normal size for planting coffee. Now this coffee are ready to be planted. This are uh, Arabica coffee. It takes us about um, three to four years. We shall be picking the coffee. This coffee was introduced by our grandparents. In yeah. So this is SL14. Mm -hmm. You see the berries are a little bit bigger, and you see them. And this is how always how it looks like. And then you see this. This is these berries are smaller. Yeah. So this is Nyanzaland coffee, while the other one is uh, SL14. Okay. But they are all Arabica. Yeah. So, and as you're picking, you have to be careful because you need to plug it. You need to plug it out like this. Break it, not like removing it, but breaking it as you are harvesting but of course you need to bend the tree down for example like this 
and then you select the red berries very fast pick them only the red ones and these are defected coffees which I told you which have been affected and now you see it is already drying up why do we break is because our next season the coffee is going to start flowering also from the very uh, place uh, from the very spots okay so you've seen that the floaters are few yeah to have premium coffee we now pick only the red berries only the red ones uh, if, even this one is overripe the overripe one you leave it so you only pick these ones see the difference when you dry this you get natural coffee and and from here you can also make honey coffee so we're going to see how we make them all from here you dry it so after drying they become black and then you take to dehusk them on a machine and uh, whereas here we usually make washed coffees so we're going to make also washed coffee right now okay not easy four layers before you get the real coffee so after this one we peel it for example this this one is uh, having another layer and the layer which is here is called mucilage then from here we're going to get to parchments then after the parchment we shall be going to silver skin before we get the green coffee parchment is here yeah yeah these are parchment mm. but to get the silver skin you see this you yeah. peel this now this skin here is called silver skin mm. you can also roast this and then you get very good tea which is still consumed by humans mm. and the coffee you want is this one mm. so that's why you say the coffee is covered up with four layers before mm. you get up the real coffee yeah yeah but the one you dry with a mucilage this is how it looks like okay yeah so this is honey coffee yeah and this is natural uh that is washed coffee. okay we're only missing there now the natural coffee mm. Thank you for watching. The focus is running, but it's nice to have all these activities in the vicinity. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode.